Hi, I am Nikki. Oh, there we go. Hi, I am Nikki Clements, and I used to make stuff like this. These are just some neat little folding chairs, but they are also a backpack and a cooler. That's pretty cool. But I think we can make them one more thing and uh, turn them into a table if we want as well. Something like, well, that. All right, well, that was a super easy one. My sincere thank you for, no. Um, we're gonna make it a bit more complicated than that. Um, I'd like them to be a little bit taller. So this is actually something that I had already done. I actually made some PVC parts. Basically they clamp onto the two bars here. We have a support that goes across and then they fit into our tabletop here. And uh, it's not that bad, it's a nice height. It's, uh, it's sturdy-ish. Um, I mean, there's only two points, so, you know, it, it's not the best. So I, I would like to, to take another stab at it and redo it. Um, I think I'm gonna use a smaller gauge PVC, so some C PVC, the, the yellow stuff. Um, I think I'm gonna do two supports on each side, so that'll help us with the stability. I also wanna make it so that the tabletop can actually fit into the backpack. So I'm thinking it'll be uh, in two pieces, that way it can still be around this size, but uh, still fit in the backpack and be more portable. I also want to make it something much thinner. I don't know why I grabbed this super dense, heavy piece of particle board. Probably just because it already had a nice top from an old desk, but I'm going to use something much thinner and lighter than, than this stuff. And then I also want to try and make these uh, PVC clamps a bit better. I'm going to use the smaller gauge PVC, which is actually two millimeters smaller than my bar. I think my bar is about 17 millimeters, and the inside diameter of the CPVC is uh, 15, so it might be too tight of a fit, but we'll find out. Uh, actually, I had to make these snap fittings. They do make these where it's basically a T fitting that has the bottom cut off and you can snap it onto a piece of PVC, but the ones they sell are for the larger diameter. They definitely don't sell it for the CPVC, so I'm just gonna have to make my own. I'm gonna try and make a little jig so that I can safely and accurately cut those on the table saw, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but I, I don't like that I had to use like a piece of foam. I mean it worked pretty well. It's a nice tight fit, but you know, I had to use some tape on there, which I didn't like, and for once I was kind of annoyed with the uh, form, even though the function was okay. So we'll see if we can fix all of these things uh, in our version 2. Alright, so I want to make something that I can basically take this along the table saw and cut off you know, a strip in the middle. So something that'll just ride along my fence like that. So I can strap this to on the edge. the other way, whatever.
that might be just right. There we go. Now that holds it on nice and level. Glue the one end in so it doesn't keep coming out. So I'm trying to get, you know, evenly cut right in the middle. Um, but instead of moving the fence, I just have to set my fence for one cut, and then I can just cut it, take it off, and flip it over. And then cut the other side. So. Awesome! That is great. So our jig, worked perfectly so I just need to make eight more I think I'll redo this one that snaps on there really nice sharp really sharp damn it of course all right things are going good um, camera just cut out which is kind of good um, so the edges after cutting this are super sharp so we'll sand that down in a second unfortunately I found out that they're super sharp because I cut my thumb good thing is it's razor sharp so it's a very um, tight cut, so it's not nothing missing. But that means we unfortunately get a uh, bonus tip, which are these uh, Curad. Curad? Oh, brand's not important, but uh, knee and elbow bandages are fantastic for digits. Oh, are there any black ones left? See, they are uh, basically a plus. So you can put it on your finger, your thumb, like this, in the plus shape, apply whatever appointment you need, and you can pull it over and pull it down, and you just pull over the two flaps. And you get a really great thumb band-aid. You don't have to mess around with multiple band-aids or tape or anything, it's just, and it works on all your digits, so that's a uh, Unfortunate, but a really great hack, or just a great way to use these. So they really should say elbow, knee, and digits. Even the ready med that I went to were impressed. It was a couple years ago. So let's get this off without hurting ourselves. We should be able to take, yeah, once you have leverage, it'll pop off nice and easy. So we'll take our Dremel, smooth over that edge. There we go. Listen to that snap. That is really nice. And you can pop it right off. All right, so let's uh, let's make eight more or seven more. So yeah, our jig works perfect. The table's in a good setup for it. All right, so those are all sanded and safe. So we have our half inch CPVC custom made snap fittings, which is awesome. And I have a great jig so I can make them in the future if I ever need them. I also went ahead and put a little piece of wood on here, which will give me the right width on my fence. So I just put it in, set it there, and then I'm good to go. So this is a fully functional jig, which is great. So I'm definitely gonna hang on to this. They fit great on my chair, which is awesome. And I guess, do they fit on the pipe as well? Oh, wow, yeah. So they work just like a regular uh, snap fitting. So that is awesome. That will probably come in quite handy for some other projects too. So this is great. 
Uh, the next step is to cut some length of pipe and then uh, finish this off. Tabletop will actually still will actually fit. Yeah, that's just fine. That's a that's a decent stuff. Like oh, there we go. That'll give me. See, yeah, I can just go in. I can just push it into the little loops there. That'll give me my width that I want. is looking cool. I was thinking I'd put it on this way, but then I would need to come up with how to get it level. I'd have to put like a coupler or something in the middle, or I can go this way. Uh, but then it, 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 because then it could do this a bit in the middle. I mean, I, I don't want a million pieces of pipe, so I think Or, how much is it? All right, so if I just glue another piece of hardboard, that's what we'll do. Three, three, one, one. I just want to see if these screws will go through. Alright, yeah, that, that won't poke through the, uh, the melamine, so perfect. That's taking too long. Alright, so I am going to glue these on with some 5 minute epoxy as well as screw them in with some very tiny screws. There we go. That is a nice rigid table. 
That's cool. I like that. That is definitely an upgrade. All right, and then if we are done with it. Tables, pieces can sit together like that. In a large compartment. And yeah, we can either leave these snaps on there or just pop them off. Those can fit snug in there. So all the PVC can fit in a little front pocket. All right, that's cool. Definitely an upgrade from the last one. I love that I don't need duct tape or foam to make these fit I'm using a much smaller PVC, but since I'm using two of them instead of one, it's more stable than the one larger one was. Made our own custom snap tee fittings and I have a jig for that, which is awesome. I'm just gonna finish this one up. I just have to cut a few more pieces of PVC pipe and then it will be a finished functional table as well. So um, I found these, by the way, at Kohl's a few years ago. Um, they came out during the holiday season when they bring all the gift items and gadgets and stuff out. So if you can't find it there, I did find some similar ones online. So I'll post some Amazon links in the description. So if you wanna get one and convert it from a chair cooler backpack to a chair cooler backpack table, well, now you know how. So, my sincere thank you for watching once again. I am Nick D. Clements. If you're wondering, make it short for Nicholas, and the D stands for Derek. Anyway, I'm off to make something else. All right, well, I'm just gonna finish up. All right, well, I'm just gonna finish up chair. Damn. Well, I'm just gonna finish up. I said it. I'm just gonna finish and convert it from a chair. One more. One more. Well, I'm just gonna finish this up. Yeah, I'm gonna blame that one on the dog.